The Temple of Apollo at Didyma, or the Didymaean, is a magnificent ancient Greek temple situated near the modern town of Didym in Turkey. Steeped in history and architectural grandeur, the Didymaean played a vital religious role in the ancient world. In this video, we offer an in-depth look at the temple's history, architectural features, and the primary functions it served in ancient Greek society. A detailed history, the Didymaean was a prominent religious sanctuary dedicated to the god Apollo, with its origins dating back to the Archaic period. It was considered one of the three most important oracular centers in ancient Greece, alongside the Oracle of Delphi and the Oracle of Dodona. The temple's close proximity to the ancient city of Miletus reinforced its significance, as it attracted pilgrims and visitors seeking divine guidance and wisdom. The original temple was raised by the Persians during their invasion in 494 before the Kamman era. The construction of the existing temple commenced in the 4th century before the Kamman era under the supervision of the renowned architects Paionios of Ephesus and Daphnis of Miletus. Despite centuries of labor, the temple was never entirely completed. Intricate architectural features, the Temple of Apollo at Didyma is celebrated for its immense dimensions and elaborate design. Its most striking features include Colossal size, spanning 120 meters in length and 25 meters in height, the Didymaean was among the largest temples in the ancient world. Double colonnade, the temple showcased a unique double colonnade, comprising 108 ionic columns encircling the central cella, inner chamber, in two rows. This design provided a grand and imposing exterior. The Sacred Road, a 16.5-kilometer long sacred road, connected the Didymaean with the ancient city of Miletus. This paved route facilitated religious processions and pilgrimages between the two locations. Sela and Adaton, unlike most Greek temples, the Didymaean Sela was open to the sky, symbolizing a direct connection between the god Apollo and his worshippers. The innermost sanctuary, or Adaton, housed the sacred cult statue of Apollo and the oracle itself. The Nyskos, a smaller temple, or Nyskos, was constructed within the Sela, functioning as a shrine to Apollo and the site where the oracle priestess, or Branched, would deliver her prophecies. Detailed carvings, the temple's architectural elements, such as column capitals and friezes, were adorned with intricate carvings and motifs, exemplifying the artistic skill of the ancient Greeks. Function and religious significance, the primary function of the Didyman was to act as an oracle center, where individuals sought guidance and wisdom from Apollo. The temple's oracle played an indispensable role in ancient Greek life, as people consulted it for counsel on personal, political, and military matters. The priestess, known as the Branched, would receive the petitioner's inquiry and enter a trance-like state induced by the sacred spring water. She would then convey the god's response, often in cryptic or ambiguous language, which necessitated interpretation by priests. The temple also served as a setting for religious festivals and ceremonies, particularly the annual Didymia Festival, which featured athletic competitions, music, and theatrical performances. Additionally, it was a site for votive offerings, as visitors presented gifts to the god Apollo in gratitude or to seek his favor. These offerings, including statues, reliefs, and other valuable items, were placed within the temple precincts as a testament to the deity's influence and the temple's importance. The Didymaean was also a center for artistic and scholarly pursuits, attracting poets, philosophers, and other intellectuals who sought inspiration and knowledge from the sacred site. Furthermore, the temple's close relationship with the nearby city of Miletus contributed to the flourishing of the arts, science, and philosophy in the region. Rediscovery and Preservation The Temple of Apollo at Didyma was gradually abandoned with the rise of Christianity and the decline of ancient Greek paganism. The site was left in ruins for centuries until modern excavations commenced in the late 19th century. These excavations, led by German archaeologists, unearthed the temple's architectural remains and artifacts, providing valuable insight into the temple's history and the ancient world. 
Today, the Daidimayan is a popular tourist destination, attracting thousands of visitors each year. Preservation and restoration efforts continue to maintain the integrity of the site and its historical significance. Visitors can explore the temple's majestic ruins, walk along the sacred road, and experience a sense of connection to the ancient world. The Temple of Apollo at Didyma remains an enduring testament to the architectural and religious prowess of the ancient Greeks. The temple's imposing size, innovative design, and vital oracle played significant roles in the lives of those who sought wisdom, guidance, and connection to the divine. As we delve deeper into the enigmatic world of the ancient Didymaean, we are reminded of the rich cultural heritage that continues to captivate and inspire us today. So, when you plan your visit to this awe-inspiring site, prepare to immerse yourself in the wonder and mystique of an ancient world that still echoes through the ages.